Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Crosswatchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo-only channel. And then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links for those are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I give away two four question text readings, hashtag reading for that. I give away a mystery crystal box, hashtag crystal for that. And I give away um, spirit shield tarot. I'm giving away a deck of that, so hashtag tarot for that. And I give away two $50 prizes. Just post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for with a green heart to win that. All my tarot and oracle decks are back in stock on my website, including Raven's Rose Oracle. Spirit Shield Tarot is 60% off. You can find all that info below. I am only open for emergency for question readings right now. The link for that is below. Um, my tarot tutorial is still available. It's about two and a half hours long. If you're looking to start your own YouTube channel, or if you're looking to learn how to read tarot, you can check that out. Okay. All right, my babies. Guys, my allergies are so bad today, so I apologize between Freya and just whatever. I, I noticed a bunch of mushrooms sprouted all over my backyard. Now I'm scared because I don't know if they're dangerous or not. I don't want the dogs to eat them. I'm afraid to let them out of the house. So I wonder if it's the spores from those. I'm not crazy, right? Mushrooms have spores, I think, right? So I'm, I'm wondering if that, that could be it too. I don't know, but either way, let's get popping. So this is going to be your what you need to know right now reading. Sorry, guys, my eyes bothering me. All right, what does cancer need to know right now, please, spirit? What does cancer need to know right now, please? I'm happy you guys are enjoying these, my loves. So Cancer, what I'm seeing right now is that you have something new that you're trying to pursue. It could be a new job. It could be just wanting to put yourself out there for love. It could be wanting to start a new class, a new business, something along those lines. And you have a friend around you that is extremely toxic. Um, you either spend a lot of time with this person, Cancer, or this is somebody that you talk to about everything. But I think the time has come for you to do things a little bit differently here. Because with this person next to you, there is never going to be progress. And sometimes we hate to like look at those facts because you're only close to one person. It's kind of like, I only have one friend. Like why, why, <laughs> you know, why? Like, you know, without this person in my life, I'd be completely alone. Um... But that is the case, Cancer. If you want something new to come into your life, whether it be love, a business, money, whatever the case may be, Spirit is not going to give it to you because this friend has got to go. This is a test for you, Cancer. Okay, this is, Spirit is putting you through some type of test right now because I think deep down inside, you know that something isn't right with this individual. For instance, if you tell this person that, yeah, no, I'm having a really great day today. After you speak to this person, something bad happens. And your intuition has been telling you that something is not quite right with this person. You know, they may say underhanded things here and there. And I think, I think that spirit is testing you to see if you're ready to make the painful sacrifices that are needed to be made for you to be given your manifestations. Okay. It is going to be very difficult for you to align yourself to receive with this person next to you. So Cancer, you're be prepared to be faced with a major challenge here when it comes down to a friend or someone that you consider to be a friend, okay? Okay, so a Cancer, I think that many of you are going around in like this hamster wheel. 
Okay. You're going around in this hamster wheel and what the hell was that? My phone just went crazy. So basically it's kind of like in love, you're choosing the same people or finding yourself in the same situations. When it comes down to money, no matter what you do, you keep finding yourself in the same situation. And that's because you're trying to take too big of a jump at one time. Okay. You have to start taking things slower. If you are, if this is regarding love, okay, you meet someone, you date someone immediately, you're, you're acting like a wife or a husband before you get to know them. And because you're making that mistake, spirit is sending you the same demon in a different body. Okay. You want to save money to achieve something, but every time you have a thousand dollars saved, you go and blow it on something stupid because you don't have the patience and the stamina to sit there and let it grow. Okay. And again, cancer this, I mean, we've got the hidden here and it literally says hidden enemies, jealousy, hiding true intentions, being two faced, and it's time to work in silence. This is happening though, because every time something positive happens to you, you tell your friend, yeah, no, I think I'm good. I've got, you know, I, I think I have enough money to save up for that big screen TV that I wanted. I already have a thousand dollars saved. And next thing you know, one bill pops up, another bill pops up, or you see something that you want to buy. And that thousand dollars is no more. Hey, I met a really great guy, this, this, and that, or I met a really great girl, this, this, and that. And next thing you know, this person, you know, everything goes left in that relationship. You have someone here that you tell all your business to and cancer. It is not good. It is not good. We've got learning here. You will see if you start, if you start being quiet and you don't tell this person what is going on in your life, you're going to start noticing significant changes. This friend is coming up very strongly in this reading. I'm sorry. You need to start thinking twice before you open your mouth and tell this person your problems. Yeah, there's a transition coming in here. I feel like many of you don't want to release this friend because this person is like, your friend and your family. For some of you, this friend is like the only person that you have to hold on to and releasing this person. It's like you would be really alone, but spirit is saying you're not going to be alone for long. It's either you're going to be too busy making money or you're going to end up with a love situation. Um, releasing this friend is going to transition you into a different timeline is what I'm hearing. Okay, literally into a different timeline in your life. Evil eye, cancer, I don't know what to tell. Like, I, I, this is, this message is point blank, period. I mean, this message is all about this friend. You have to learn how to let go. The lesson here is in releasing cancer. This person could even be wishing you negative health, headaches, migraines, like, for instance, you may even find like if you start losing weight and you tell this friend that you're losing weight, all of a sudden you get like this food addiction where you can't stop eating out. You can't stop eating ice cream. Um, I feel like cancer with anger here and time off. I think that if you take a break from this friend and you start to your health starts to feel better your life starts to improve, I think that you're actually going to be upset with this friend because you're going to notice the betrayal. Like, why is it when I stop talking to this person or telling this person my business, my life gets better? And once you have like valid proof there that it is this friend that is hurting your life, there is a sense of anger that comes with that because it's like you would never want to hurt um this friend. Okay. Now what's going to happen is cancer for a minute there, you're going to feel like you're just kind of like waking up every day in survival mode because it's like now your love life is crap. Your finances are crap. The only person you considered family and friend is gone. So it's going to suck for a minute. I'm not going to lie. Okay. But with dreams here, I do see that your, your, everything that you've been manifesting is going to come towards you. Okay. So I feel like that is going to be short lived cancer so that there's going to be a little transition period here. Yep. Your blessings are going to come in. Wish fulfillment is going to come in. I think that spirit is giving you a testing period to see if you're going to mess up and reach out to this friend and try to make amends. Um, 
It's being alone, surviving on your own, okay? This friend may be extremely immature, or they may have had children that you were close to, possibly. Yeah, there, there's a powerful transformation here. I feel like, Cancer, this is the last thing that you have that you're holding on to in life, and Spirit wants to take it from you to replace it with something better. You're literally entering into a new timeline once you release this person. It is the last test that you have before ascending. Yep, it, get ready to, to get ready for some good news here, Cancer, because what you've been manifesting is going to come towards you. Is going to come towards you. So just know the important message here is that those days of just surviving on your own, not having anyone to talk to, maybe some of you are single parents and you know, this was like the last adult that you had in your life to speak to. Um, whatever it is, this friend is going to be a loss. It's definitely a loss, but you're going to find out why answers are coming to you. You will see soon enough why this person, yeah, see, there's a higher power here that wants to show you that this person is not the person that you think that they are. Okay. They're not, they're, they're not the person you think they are. This person, you wish good for this person, but they want to see you fail. They want to see you fail. Look between worlds. What did I tell you? I really think that cancer right now you're shifting into a different timeline in your life. Okay. It may feel chaotic. It may feel difficult. It may feel like a, a very heavy burden. Maybe this friend helped you, uh, with your children. If you were a single parent, or maybe, you know, just speaking to this friend was your little outlet for stress or whatnot. So it's life is going to be chaotic. It's going to be difficult because you feel like alone and that you have nobody, but that's, yeah, you may feel like a hot mess, just messy, disorganized, um, you know, you're going to be miserable for a little while. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to be miserable for a little while, but spirit is asking you to hang in there. Spirit is asking you, just trust me when it comes down to this, you know, trust me when it comes down to this, we've got lightning here, sudden changes, sudden changes with a love offer. You're not going to see this coming. You are not going to see this coming cancer. There is a love offer coming to you, a new job offer coming to you, a new business that you're going to be opening here. With Phoenix, you're going to be rising from the ashes, baby, okay? What was lost is being restored. This is the end of the difficult time, okay? This is the end of the difficult time. So trust me, Cancer, you know, it may suck initially. You may kind of be in an energy of, you know, God, why do you want me to be so alone? Why am I meant to live this type of life? Trust me, Cancer, you're going to be celebrating soon enough. You're going to be celebrating soon enough. There's a Bible verse. See, look, clean up. Spirit is just trying to clean up your life and sweep away all the negativity. Okay. They're trying to clean up all the people in your life that don't wish you well, or that don't want the best for you. They're clearing that out of your life. Um, there is a Bible verse that says, you know, uh, hold on for those of you who are Christian, you'll appreciate this. For those of you who are not just give me a second. Okay. I think it's Joshua something. Like nothing can compare to the blessings that God has in store for you. What? I'm like, ask me how Walmart keeps popping up and I have my thing on pl uh, places here. It's Corinthians, Corinthians one, excuse me, one Corinthians two, nine, but as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard either have entered into the heart of man, the things which God hath, I don't know. Let me just find a better. 
I hate the Bible, the one that has the TH at the end of anything. Like, nobody can understand that. However, it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. These are the things God has, has revealed to us by spirit. So it's just basically like you can't even imagine the things that God has in store for you. Okay, like you just can't even you can't even fathom the good things that God has in store for you. And God doesn't want to give you it's like, you know, God doesn't want to give you those nice pair of shoes because he knows you, that the people around you are going to get them dirty. You see what I'm saying? Um, God is removing the people from your life that would end up soiling or destroying uh, this beautiful new blessing coming your way, cancer. So there's going to, there difficult times are ahead. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that everything is going to be hunky dory. Cause you know, I'm not that type of reader, but spirit is asking you, please hold on, you know, please hold on. The best is yet to come. Okay. Just trust me. I know that this, I know that this lesson sucks. I know letting go sucks, but just trust me. So let's see what your message is from spirit here. So we've got, do not try to dwell on the past or spend too much time worrying about the future. All it does is steal your joy and sense of inner peace. Concentrate on the here and now and enjoy every moment for what it is. You are creating new memories. Yeah, so don't don't think about what has been lost here, Cancer. And don't worry about what tomorrow holds. Just be still and know that God is God. Just be still and surrender to the divine. Focus on what is important to you. Don't give your time or energy to your worries. And this would only, cause this would only amplify them. Focus on what matters to you most with every thought you are creating your future. So keep your eyes focused on your goals and your manifestations, cancer. Don't worry about other distractions right now. Okay. You are safe. You are protected. The worst is behind you and you are ready to move beyond the challenges that were set for you. Lessons have been learned. It is safe for you to trust your path. So cancer, yeah, you guys are definitely on the right track here. Spirit is saying you may feel lost. You may feel confused, but trust me, I got you. Okay. No act of kindness is ever wasted. Some of the kindest people you will ever meet have been through hell and back themselves. That strengthens their compassion and empathy. If this is describing you, keep being the beautiful soul that you are. So again, Cancer, when you pull away from this friend and your life starts to get better, right? And you realize like, damn, damn, that bitch really was sending me negative juju. And you start to feel hurt by that. Spirit is saying, listen, you had good intentions for this person. You had love for this person and it will come back to you. Don't worry. Um, don't worry about other people. Don't, you know, that, that friend will pay, pay their karma in their own time. The reason some people have walked away from you for no reason has nothing to do with you. They have been removed from your life because the universe is taking you next. They have already served their purpose in your life. Let them go and keep moving. Greater is coming. Greater is coming. Okay. So just hold on to that cancer when times um, get really tough for you and you feel alone. You're not. Okay. You're not spirit is just making room and removing the things that would end up hurting you. If you had these big blessings coming into your life. Okay. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings.